In this video, I'm going to show you how to get massive search engine traffic without having to build links. If you hate link building or you actually enjoy it and want to get better results, then this video is for you. Check this out. This is a graph showing my ranking position for an affiliate marketing keyword. This page makes a pretty penny. You can see from this graphic that I quickly jumped up from nowhere to the top five of Google. The thing is, I didn't build a single link to this page. In fact, I never built a single link to the entire domain that this page exists on. And I did it by using technique number two in this video, which we'll get to soon. My name is Matt Diggity and I run over 40 websites powered by search engine optimization. If I can save money on link building, then each of my websites becomes more profitable. Link building is a necessary evil in search engine optimization, SEO. You either love it or hate it, and some of you might be wondering what the it actually is. A link is when one web page refers to another website through a textual or image link. If you click it, you get taken to the linked website. And it turns out links are a big part of Google's ranking algorithm. When Google founder Larry Page submitted his patent on PageRank, he was essentially saying, hey world, links are the best way to figure out if a website should be ranked higher or not. And he was right. Links are an amazing ranking factor. And the world agreed too as Google became the de facto search engine. Ahrefs ran a correlation study that showed that the more sites link to you, the higher your chances of traffic from Google. So we know we need to build links to rank higher. But why do so many people hate doing it? For one, when you're outreaching for links these days, 90% of the time you need to pay to get the link. Link building isn't a poor man's game. Second, some people get freaked out because link building is against Google's terms of service. According to Google, you shouldn't be doing anything to build links to your site. You should just write content that's so damn good that links magically pour in, which happens about as often as you see a leprechaun in your daily life. Third, because it's intimidating. If you don't already have the system set up, creating an outreach process is indeed freaking difficult. But getting Google rankings and traffic without links is a very challenging task. I asked the following question to my Facebook group, the Affiliate SEO Mastermind. Besides praying, what are some ways to rank for competitive keywords without link building? Some suggestions included hiring Chuck Norris, the law of attraction, and good old human sacrifice. What? But despite the skepticism, it can still be done. I'm going to lay out five SEO tactics that I've personally used to dominate Google, and none of them require building links. And if you're already link building and you try these tactics, it's really just going to take your SEO to the next level. But before I get started, will you please take the like button to the next level? Smashing the like button is the YouTube equivalent of getting a juicy backlink. And although I won't be performing a human sacrifice in this video, I hope my effort here earns your approval anyways. The first super effective SEO tactic that involves no link building at all is to leverage topical authority in your SEO strategy. The concept of topical authority started to get super popular when Corey Tugberg began posting detailed case studies. With zero link building, he was getting crazy traffic boners like this one, and the tactic he was using was topical authority. I interviewed Corey on this channel, so make sure you watch it after this video. And if you want an even deeper dive, Corey did an exclusive training on topical authority in my course, The Affiliate Lab. In order for you to become a topical authority on your website, you need to cover each and every subtopic that is relevant to your niche, or at least better than your competition does. Another important factor is if you have topical coverage for longer than your competition does. Let's say you wanted to rank for something like best crypto exchange. You can't just write a single article on crypto exchanges and expect it to actually rank in the top 10. Even if your site has hundreds of thousands of links, it just won't work. Instead, you need to talk about every subtopic in the crypto space. How to set up a wallet, what is a blockchain, Bitcoin versus Ethereum, all of it. Once Google starts to recognize you as a topical authority, then expect to take a trip to Bonerville like this site here. This strategy is so effective, I often see it working on sites with the worst backlinks ever, and I even see it working on sites with terrible content. Hell, I've run an experiment myself where I'm launching a site with 100% AI-generated content. But because I'm covering the topical map perfectly and hitting all the required topics, you can see that I already have a ton of keywords on page two just a few weeks after launching. Now I'll be straight, topical authority is an advanced process. The deep dive training is in the affiliate lab, but I wanted to give you something actionable today. So here's how you can create a topical map. Go to answerthepublic.com and type in your topic. It's gonna spit back tons of essential questions that you need to answer in your content, such as are crypto gains taxable and how to buy crypto. Next, we're gonna use Google itself to tell you what it wants to see answered. Google your keyword and dig around in the people also ask section. These questions are great for both single articles articles and FAQ sections within existing articles. I'll show you how to decide which later. I highly recommend using a free tool like SEO Minion that's going to automatically download hundreds of these questions to an Excel file in a single shot. Then you can go to the Google search bar and leverage the autocomplete feature to get even more ideas. Type a seed keyword question like what is crypto, then put your cursor at the end. All these topics here are great. Now head on down to the bottom of the search results and soak up these related searches at the bottom. I recommend spending some time clicking through to the other branches to go down a rabbit hole of new keywords. And lastly, spy on your competition to figure out all the subtopics that they covered in order to get them to the top of Google. You can do that by opening up their sitemap and doing a find for your main keyword. That's some ninja level shit. 
The problem at this point is that you just generated a bazillion keywords and you need to figure out which ones belong together in the same article or perhaps separate articles. That's where a must-have tool like KeywordCupid comes into play. It's going to organize and map all these keywords into proper articles. I left a coupon code for KeywordCupid in the description. And now that you got your topical map sorted out, it's time to start producing content. Make sure you watch my video on how to write content for search engines after this video. Next up on our list of SEO tactics that can get great results without link building, we have Parasite SEO. Parasite SEO is when you play an article on another website that has a high amount of links and authority, and you piggyback off that authority to get your article to the top of Google. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. Check out the search result for best male enhancement pills. Classy, I know. In first place, we have an article from timesunion.com. Is Times Union a topical authority on penis pills? I highly doubt it, but it is indeed a DR83 website with 84,000 referring domains linking to it. Then in second, we have Men's Journal, a DR85 with 124,000 links, and jpost.com, a DR86 with 170,000 domains linking to it. These articles are clearly ranking because of the link authority of the domains themselves. Now here's the cool part. The Times Union article was written by NorCal Marketing. So someone, just like yourself, paid them to post this up on their site. Right here at the top of the Men's Journal article, they even label it as straight up sponsored content. And same thing for Jerusalem Post with promo content. These articles are ranking at the top of Google simply because of their backlinks. And people, just like me and you, can get articles placed there as well. As mentioned before, I've done it and it just straight up works. Look how fast this keyword shot up to page one. The article placements are expensive as hell, but who cares if you get to number one for some of the best keywords in the game? Now the process for getting articles up on these sites has a lot of moving parts and is beyond the scope of this video. But I promise I'll get to it eventually, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. The next zero backlink strategy involves what I like to call next level keyword research. I'm talking about creating creative ways to find keywords that don't require backlinks to rank for. Diamonds in the rough, if you will. Here's one such keyword research trick taken directly from the Affiliate Lab. You're going to need an SEO tool like Ahrefs to pull this off. They have a free 7-day trial, so go nuts. The first thing you're going to do is load up Facebook.com. Facebook has 31 million domains linking to them, and we're going to use this huge amount of data to our benefit. Click on the Referring Domains report, and up here at the top, you'll want to type in a keyword related to your niche. So for example, you'll type in keto here, as in the keto diet. Now you have a list of all 7,000 domains that link to Facebook with the word keto in them. Export this sexy list out. Now what you're looking for is domains with a low DR, which means they have very few backlinks going to them. Like this site, thebestketorecipes.com. It's a DR18 and gets 26,000 visitors per month. That means that they most likely did some amazing freaking keyword research, and we can easily copy what they did. Go back into Ahrefs and look at the organic keywords report for the site, and you end up with a list of super easy keywords to rank for that require very few backlinks. Keto cinnamon rolls? Don't mind if I do. If this rinky-dink DR18 website with barely any links can rank for keywords like this, then so can you. Next up on our list is kind of cheating, but it's a technique that many people, including myself, use to get quick and significant rankings. And that's by using powerful age domains. So instead of going out and link building one link at a time, you're essentially inheriting an entire domain's backlink profile in a single shot. I'm going to show you two ways you can use age domains, but first things first, you need to know where to get them. For the last three to four years, all the age domains I use for SEO have come from Otis. What I like about Otis's domains is that they're all vetted for quality and penalties. You're not going to end up spending a bunch of money on a lemon of a domain. And they have a huge selection and a ton of different niches. If you wanted to launch a site in the crypto space, you just do a search up here at the top and as expected, they have a bunch of crypto relevant domains with plenty of links. But most importantly, Otis's domains don't have a drop history. They keep these sites hosted with a minimal amount of content, which makes it seem like the site has been up and running this whole time, so its link equity should not be reset. Use the link in the description to sign up with Otis with a $100 free store credit. I'll also earn a small commission which I promise I'll spend on absolute junk. Now, the primary use case for age domains is to simply build a website on them straight up. Remember that case study that I told you about earlier where I'm building a site with 100% AI content? I'm building it on an age domain that I got from Otis. Here's some best practices when building a website on an age domain. Get an age domain whose old content is as close as possible to what you want to write about. Google search liaison John Mueller mentioned in a hangout that when the old content is off topic from the new content, they might reset the links. You can check the historical content of a site by tossing it into archive.org. Next, if you find that some of the internal pages on your domain have a high amount of links going to them, recreate that page. Add similar content to what used to exist in the archive. Then link from there to pages you actually want to rank for. We're salvaging the existing links that go to your age domain. Once your domain is set up, start writing articles for your easiest keywords first, such as keywords you found through that Facebook trick I showed you earlier. This will let you know very soon if Google is liking what you've done. Lastly, wait. It takes a while for Google to recognize that there's a new direction that your domain is moving in. You'll know the time is right to 
double down when those easy keywords go from page 10 to page 1. The second major use case for age domains is to do a 301 redirect using the acquisition method. What you're doing here is you use a 301 redirect to tell Google, yo, this age domain with all these lovely backlinks doesn't exist anymore. My other main site acquired this one, so send all those juicy links there. I use this technique twice on the site here, once in June and once in December. You can see how the referring domain count skyrockets because I basically just imported two whole websites backlinks to mine with the strategy. Now, just like with Parasite SEO, the acquisition method deserves a whole video in itself. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Next up, if you want to get SEO results without link building, create link bait articles. Certain article types are extremely good at just straight up attracting natural links. And if you think about it, this is exactly how Google wants links to be built. You just write the perfect piece of content and the links magically come in. The thing is, certain articles are actually good at doing this. Let's show you how to make some magic. Check out this article I wrote on anchor text optimization. It's over 4,000 words on anchor text of all topics. How much do you think you can really write about anchor text? Anyhow, it took a ton of time for me, but did it pay off? Well, it ranks number one for anchor text optimization, so there's that. But even better, it naturally attracted 261 referring domains. That's 261 different websites linking to it. This article is what's called the definitive guide. You create one when you go balls to the wall and write the best, most thorough piece of content on a topic that becomes the freaking reference manual for the subject. And as you can see, they're excellent at attracting links. Here's another type of link bait article, a statistics piece. Ahrefs pulled together a bunch of data on the SEO industry. Statistic pieces do super well as link bait because facts and data often get referenced by other offers when they're writing. And it's customary to mention where you got your facts from. How did this Ahrefs piece go? 1,480 referring domains. Tasty indeed. Now the thing about statistics pieces is that you need to be ranked pretty high on Google for something like SEO statistics in order to be able to even find your article in the first place. What if your website is just too new to rank for statistics keywords? You can just pay for ads to get to the top of Google. And the great thing is, it's super cheap because no one else is competing with you on them. I've done this before in the health niche and it ended up costing us about $30 per link. I mean, you're not technically link building. You're just setting up a gangsta level trap for them. Now remember, once these articles have attracted a bunch of links, there's two things you need to do next. First is to interlink these articles to the content that you really want to rank on your site. Doing this will pass along that lovely link juice. And next you want to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one.